this is Aiden's Toy Trove. This is part seven of my Briar Custom Unpacking. This horse's name is Maximum Velocity. She is a custom by Cindy Evans. Cindy Evans is um, a great artist whose work is very hard to come by. This is another really hard to pack horse. Um, she has lots of little breakable bits. Uh, so it makes me really nervous um, to pack her and I don't know that I want to pack her for Briarfest. So she might not be coming for Briarfest. As lovely as she is. And this horse also, um, she stands with the assistance of pegs. One of the pegs is glued into her hoof and the other one is loose. I'm not sure where that peg is offhand, so I don't think I'll be able to stand her up for you. Now this is the killer uh, hard tail to pack that I just, gives me nightmares about um, it breaking. So let me set her down for one minute and I'll take a real quick sneaky peek in my base um, box and see if her peg is readily accessible. I'm also going to get her packing put back together um, since she does have a lot of that custom packing there. Now this one, I believe she has um, her own video here on YouTube. Her name is Maximum Velocity. She is a drastic custom Lonesome and Glory. If I see a peg, whether this is her peg or not, I don't know, but we'll try. Da -da -da. It's probably her peg. Okay. Now, the problem with unglued pegs is they are super easy to lose. And the problem with glued pegs is that they're super easy to break. So, pick your poison. I actually prefer unglued pegs because um, I might lose them, but I do have a stockpile of extra pegs for when I do lose them. See, just like that. So you pick them up at the show, thunk goes the peg and it goes bouncing across the floor never to be seen again. So I make sure these guys have extra pegs and I actually think that this peg might not be her peg because I think her peg fits a little tighter than this, but we'll just use this peg so that you can see her. lint on her face from the packing but as you can see she's a very drastic custom from Lonesome Glory there's very little Lonesome Glory left here and I'm going to just take this peg out before I lose it put it over there it's got this long luscious beautiful tail very rich coloring wrinkling um, in her flank area, a nice wind-blown mane, a beautiful, beautiful face, great expression. Okay, so that's maximum velocity. Now I'm just gonna lie her here because I'm paranoid about her tipping over. Put this peg back before I lose it. Okay. Moving on, this one is Pandemonium. He is one of those uh, Briar Breeds of the World resins that was uh, re-sculpted and repainted by Tammy Myrold. This one, um, while he doesn't have too much re-sculpting on him, he's that solid, heavy resin and really fragile. So 
another one that I'm really worried about um, when in transit. And it's kind of like, every time I unpack him, I go, whew, phew, he's in one piece. So he is a very beautiful Bay Appaloosa. He has a new, nice, long mane and tail, which I'll show to you in just a moment. Now today is Saturday and my uh, Briar Fast course list is due on Monday. <laughs> so typical me has been procrastinating and I need these horses out to air out and to make my horse list. So, you know, why not leave it to the last minute, right? So we'll get you a close up of the beautiful detailing on this one. He's kind of, I would say, closest to a little bit scale. Uh, originally, this um, particular original finish resin came on a base, which he was removed from, and he balances with the use of his tail. I love this guy. I just worry about him in transit. His name is Pandemonium. And he shows in the mini division. And he was done in, let's see here, 2013. And he's also one of those ones I'm paranoid about falling over, so we'll lay him down next to maximum velocity. Okay. Next up we have, hmm, Arsenia. I think this might be an Alborozo. Last year, I was able to pick up a number of beautiful custom Alborozos from another collector who I had been eyeing for quite some time. So I was very happy to add them to my conga. Yep, this is Arsenio, and he is a custom Alborozo uh, done by Cheryl Leisure. He has some re-sculpting. Um, his ears have been moved around, and he's doing a bit of a pirouette. And he has a, I think he has a swishy tail, which is why it's um, wrapped in foam. Get your tag off, guy. And this guy can be a variety of breeds. He's kind of a warm blood-ish, as well as um, a Spanish type. So he's kind of one of those... Throw them in the sport horse class if uh, you have too many Spanish horses, or throw them in the Spanish class if you have too many sport horses. He also has a braided mane and a beautiful swish tail. He pants with the assistance of a base, which is connected to him. Now for those of you who don't know, Cheryl Leisure on top of doing this wonderful customizing, she is a phenomenal restoration artist. So if you have any horses with boo-boos, Cheryl can work absolute miracles. She can fix horses that have been broken. She can fix horses that have um, cracks. She can fix epoxy lifting. She can fix rubs. She's just great. This horse, uh, he also has the split mane. Um, like another one of mine, I think his name was Atrevido. That was done by Melanie Miller, but he's got a personality all of his own. I love that little um, loop under his forelock there. I think that makes him performance friendly so that you could put a, a brow band underneath his forelock if you wanted to. And he has this gorgeous, rich, glowing bay color. It reminds me a bit of um, Carolyn Voidston's work as far as color because he's very... Um, just kind of borderline metallic and a uh, very rich glowing color. So that's Atre V. No, this is Arsenio. And he was done in, wow, 2008. So this is a pretty old piece and he's still absolutely beautiful. Okay, 
We'll go one more horse unpacked in this video. Who will it be? To Grand Illusion. This one is a uh, custom Alborozo. What else, right? Um, he was a custom order for me by Tammy My World. And I love him. Now this was the first time that Tammy um, tried this type of braided mane, which I'll show you in just a minute. He has a lot of hair by hair detailing. He's very intricate. packing back in the wrong order. So <laughs> maybe after I'm finished with this video, I will show you guys like the absolute mountain of packing that I have for my show horses because it's like towering off the chair right now. Okay, but this is Grand Illusion. He was customized by Tammy Myrold. He has this beautiful braided looped mane. And this was Tammy's very first attempt at doing a mane like that. And she did a super, super job. He has a lot of um, intricate hair detailing. He's got and the modeling on his muzzle, typical of the Appaloosa color. I think she did just, just a tiny amount of re-sculpting on his tail, not too much. He was done in 2013. He has lots of detailing, like the little striations on his hooves and very, very, very intricate spots. I can't imagine how long it took Tammy to um, paint all these spots. She must have been seeing spots in her dreams. This is Grand Illusion done by Tammy Myrold. I'm um, when I stop these videos I'm actually finding places for these horses in the cabinets uh, so that I have room to unpack more so we'll go ahead and we'll stop this video right here thanks for watching